Hey, Total Gym Team, it is Master Trainer JD here with you to do some cardio intervals. Let's get right into it. We're gonna use our lower body, okay, where most of our muscle resides, to get that heart rate up into our cardio training zone. And then we're gonna work the upper body, but we're gonna do so in a manner that keeps that heart rate up. You're talking multitasking, working uh, muscles and the heart at once, but also huge time management, burning more calories in the same amount of time. Let's get going. So I'm gonna start with some lunges. So I'm gonna step right in front of the base here, put my toe on the end of the glide board. I'm gonna get nice and low and just do some massive lunges. I can even uh, add a ball and add some twisting motions. But what I'm gonna do, well, <laughs> it's a balance challenge as well. So I'm gonna try to get my heart rate up into that training zone. Now, I like to wear a heart rate monitor so I can kind of glance down and see where my target zone is and you can look on, on Google and figure that out. But the easiest way to do is just go until you're out of breath. Just get to that point where you're, where you're breathing pretty hard and then it's time to hit the upper body. Today we're gonna to do chest. So we got the heart rate up and then I ran back. I changed the level to work chest and then I also hooked up the, the pulley system, so we're ready to go. I like to put my legs up here. And then what I recommend when you're doing an exercise when we're doing cardio intervals is shoot for like 15 reps. And as you can see, my pace is a little bit different when, than when I'm working for strength and making my muscles bigger. So I'm gonna use a level on the total gym where right around 15 repetitions is where I'm gonna really start to feel fatigue, which means it's the time when I can't do that many more. But again, you can see that I'm doing rapid repetitions to keep my heart rate up in that training zone. Woo! <sighs> okay, time to elevate that heart rate again. So I'm gonna do a side lunge, just a variation of the lunge. I'll start nice and tall to get used to the motion. A bonus here is I'm gonna get a nice stretch to the inner thigh. And then because I'm, I'm pushing the glide board up an incline, I'm working the outer thigh. Now, to get that heart rate up, I'm really gonna get low, load this standing leg and just go for it again. I'm going to just get to that point where I feel myself breathing hard knowing that the heart rate's up. And then guess what? Time to go back to chest. So I'm back to chest, but just know on those lunges, I would do one side, get the heart rate up into that cardio zone where you're out of breath. And then when I go back, obviously you wanna do the other side because we don't wanna walk around the world in a circle the rest of the day. So the beauty of the versatility of the total gym is you notice the first time I did a straight ahead chest press for the mid chest. Now just with a flip, quick flip of the wrist, the cables are on top of my arms. Now I'm doing an upper chest press. And again, I'm gonna keep the volume up. I might even add just a little bit more movement and get the abs involved. And again, I'm choosing a level on the total gym the level where right around 15 of those fast repetitions is where I'm hitting fatigue and that chest muscle is getting uh, nice and tired. Okay, another great way to use your total gym to get your heart rate up is good old plyometrics. What are plyometrics? Basically, it just means doing a jumping motion, but when you're fully supported on the glide board, it makes it very, very safe and very, very effective. And I wanna highlight two accessories. First, the total gym step. So check this out. When I do plyometrics or any legs, I like to sit at the very edge of the glide board, put my feet up, keep my hands at the bottom of the glide board so it doesn't slide underneath you, and then check this out. It's just it's such a nice feeling. There's a nice give to the step on the, on the foot platform, and then you can do single legs, you can do a jogging motion, but I just love this accessory. You can even do it with no shoes on because the landing is, is so cushiony and such a soft landing, and this is gonna get your heart rate cranking. Now, be creative. You can do just about anything to get your heart rate up. I mean, good old squats, what have you, but remember burpees? Now, a regular burpee, you go all the way down to the floor, jump back, but with the beauty of the total gym, <laughs> if you're like me, and you've been playing pickleball almost every day, the lower back doesn't always like to get all the way down on the floor. So check it out. I can put the total gym on a decent level where I can go down, either step back, up, or I can get more aggressive, down, jump, 
add a little jump, or I can add that push up. But man, good old burpees are going to get your heart rate up into that zone where you're out of breath, and then it's back to whatever upper body exercise you're doing at that fast pace. Okay, here's a creative and unique way to use your total gym and a blast to the past. Good old Reebok step classes. If you're old enough to remember those, I used to teach about 20 of those classes a week. So it is as simple as planting your foot and doing a knee up or getting creative doing a knee straddle. Now, extreme caution here. I have this glide board up at least halfway up the rails because the last thing you want to do is step here and have it slide away. So start really slow and at least be halfway up, uh, up the tower with the glide board level to make sure that it doesn't slide. But once we get going, we can do the good old repeaters, repeater straddle. And what I highly recommend is you have fun and crank your favorite music and get this going. For example, Alexa resume. Use that music to motivate you and use your arm movements. And just have some fun with that. And then it's back to our upper body once again. Team plyometrics are so much fun and it's such a great way to get your heart rate up and keep your bones strong. So I did an entire blog on plyometrics. I'm gonna put the link in the written blog that shows 10 of my favorite plyometric parties you can do. So the extra large squat stand is a great accessory that makes those even more fun and more effective. So I'm gonna end with some plyometric parties until next time, stay healthy. Alexa, resume. Here we go. Have